they need to be more having this really and those who Person-centered care is all about our mission, helping people individually and as a community to achieve their goals and live life to the fullest. It means really creating an environment where people can not only get the basics of you know, a safe place to live, food to eat, someone to provide for their needs, but also as individuals and as a community finding meaningful purpose and worthwhile work, chance to make a difference in other people's lives and to feel loved and be loved. It's putting the person first and, and it's anybody who is at Inglis is a person first. So it's, it's not resident-centered, it's not staff-centered, it's person-centered. It was intriguing to me because we were actually moving away from being treated as an institution and taking it to what they were considering a home-like atmosphere. It's not just about the care they're receiving, which should always be top-notch, but it's about, you know, do you want to go back to school? Do you want to learn how to paint? Do you want to get up early and have breakfast with your friends? Do you want to eat in your room? Those kinds of things are now just as important as, as the clinical things, because it's, it's the routines that really define somebody's life. Person-centered care means to me respect for one another. It goes both ways. Residents respecting their caregivers, caregivers respecting the residents. The Person First values help us put people first and really help us drive towards understanding the people that we're living and working with. So we have our homemakers. They're part of the neighborhood. The homemaker takes care of whatever they need. It doesn't necessarily have to focus on just dining. It's for them to have a good experience eating and conversating, getting with friends. Johnny can come in and somebody is already anticipating what Johnny is going to want for lunch or dinner because they know him and they, they know the menu. I don't look at them as residents. I just kind of look at them as extended families. It's a wonderful adventure for the residents to move forward with because it's spending more time with them. It's giving them the ability to be more active in a uh, daily living situation. With a person with a disability, it's easy to fall into a place where you depend on a lot of people to do things for you. And I think when facilities like Inglis gives you the opportunity to make decisions for yourself, I think it's very important. No one knows you better than you, so take greater control of all of it. We have the opportunity to make Inglis the place that we really want to work and the opportunity to make Inglis the place that residents really want to live in. If you do have a conflict or an issue that's going on, now we can sit down with each other and talk on a one-on-one -on -one basis with our supervisor who is hands-on upstairs. You hear your side, she hears their side, and we try to come to a common ground. The transformation to the physical hallways and solariums, I think, is the first time that residents and staff have been able to make decisions about what their atmosphere looks and feels like. Um, and so it's empowering, learning how to voice your opinions and be heard, um, but it also completely changes the vibe. We was a team. <laughs> it was one North team. <laughs> so it wasn't residents, it wasn't staff, it was one North team. And we all put together and we all decided and we all loved it, the finished outcome. We the renovation, the whole place. I think just by again tailoring it, individualizing it, I mean we truly hear what they feel works best for them, they hear how it works best for us, and again it's just a team unit. I like helping people and like making them realize that like just because we live here don't make us any less of a person than you are because you go home at the end of the day. 
We have um, residents who are learning how to um, exercise their decision-making muscles, thinking about how to honor their preferences, breaking out of a really institutional way of life for both residents and staff. It's a challenge to kind of shake things up, but it's, it's, really, it's a really great opportunity. I think if we're investing in, in the individuals, both the people that work here and the people that reside here. Together, we're all growing and going out, you know, just saying hello in the morning, you know, can create the biggest impact on an individual. English realizes that it's always the right time you need the right thing. We're sort of in the throes of these growing pains, shaking off old English and kind of focusing what is new English. So I think about like five, ten years from now, I'm just so excited about what English will look like. Person-centered care is choice. Amazing. Better. Included. Independence. Evolving. Person-centered care is uh, an exciting challenge. It's more than one word, but an exciting challenge.